Hi, I'm the Busy Bee Mom. Welcome to my sewing channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be doing some crafts. I was at a garage sale in a little town in Iowa and I this box was on a table. Musty, dirty. It says hand craft kits and lime HYD hydroxide. I don't know. Handcraft kits piqued my curiosity though. So I peeked inside and opened one of the boxes just enough. This is a, basically a box full of boxes. There's boxes in here. Lots of boxes. And I opened one just enough to see that it was a craft kit. Not a ooh, awesome craft kit, but a, oh, that's so dated craft kit. But I got kind of piqued my curiosity and it said, a dollar on the lid and I was like a dollar each or the whole box she's like take the whole box for a dollar I was like so so I basically bought a whole box full of kind of dated craft kits so in this video series we're gonna unbox them one at a time and I'm gonna try to assemble it and make it so um, I'm gonna do a little separate video for each one this will be the intro for all of them though and um, you get to follow along as I explore these craft kits and try to make something beautiful. All right, time to unpackage number three of our random craft kits. So we're going to get our random craft kit out of our box and see what we've got. Oh, I see a white styrofoam ball. There's another white styrofoam ball. Some foil packets like four foil packets. We've got pink latex acrylic, white adhesive, brown latex acrylic, and gold metal enamel. So it looks like I need gold, pink, and brown paint and glue. A little greenery. This says Christmas. Looks like some holly and berries red, kind of a velvety paper, not peel and stick. This is before the peel and stick days. Uh, some white and gold trim. Okay, this is just screaming Christmas to me. Another sheet of red velvet paper. Paintbrush with no bristles. Somebody um, munched on that, ate all the bristles off. We have a little bundle of gold, uh, yellow yarn, a little bundle of black yarn, a musical instrument, some sort of a horn, another musical instrument, harp. Don't know what that is. Looks like you know when you buy ice cream and it comes with a little stick that you used to eat it with? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, things do, do seem to be coming in pairs though. Two styrofoam balls, two things of yarn, two musical instruments, two holly, and oh, there we go. Two of those. Everything else seems to be paperwork. And bits of the bug that probably ate the paintbrush. Mm, yum. What do we got in our paperwork? Ooh, you can order a robe and gown in pink or blue. Machine washable, wrinkle resistant. Yeah, 80% acetate. I bet it doesn't wrinkle. Ah, oh, you can get tapes or records arriving in the mail. Chicago. Oh, eight tracks. Oh, that's a blast from the past. You could get it on cassette, so. You get records, eight track cartridges, tape cassettes, or, wow, reel to reel tapes. I do remember as a kid having a car that had eight track tapes. We didn't have any eight track tapes except for a few that came with the car, which were Dolly Parton, which my parents didn't like for music, so we never listened to those. You can get your film developed. Oops, no offense to Dolly Parton fans out there. And that looks like instructions. We don't want to spoil any surprises. Coupons! Beautiful. And 
we have valuable certificate brings you a $15 beauty kit for only a dollar. I love the graphics. Exciting details inside. They never even opened it. So this is for beauty stuff. It doesn't really show you what's in the box, but you get a bunch of famous brand cosmetics. $15 worth for only a dollar. I bet they smelled really good. All right, well, <laughs> a lot of paperwork and a few things for our craft. So we're going to make something beautiful out of all this, hopefully. And let me round up some supplies and we'll get started.
Dear club friend, Angel Aries, our duet of celestial cherubs are richly robed in velvety red, have thick yarn top knots and a holly crowned heads. One has a golden toned trumpet, the other a lyrical lyre to keynote melodious holiday decorating. They're in tune with Christmas cradle song concertos and lend heavenly do re mis to your harmonious centerpiece and mantle arrangements or reach a high note when hung on your tree. Add our master of mandolin and cymbals, the angel tones, and make it a quartet of seraphs tuned into the sounds of the season. They're robed and trimmed in the same size as Angel Aries. Both kits are listed on your three star for postage saver ordering. Sincerely, Nancy Lee, Club Secretary. Okay, we are all done. The kit made two little um, angels. And I only showed making one of them. You don't need to watch the same thing twice. So they actually turned out like the picture. I think I did pretty good. A few little changes. I didn't have any gold paint, so I painted the wings silver. And you were supposed to paint these gold. And I just left them. They're already kind of goldish, so not too bad. So the kit made these two, but then you could also order one with symbols and one with a liar. So you got a whole, lots of options there. You could have a whole set of four of these lovely little ladies. So let's rate them on attractiveness. Here's my scale on a one to five rating scale I'm using. Um, they're okay. Honestly, this isn't my thing. I just find it cringy, but it turned out okay. I think once they came to life, it helped. I have to admit, when I started making these, I was like, I don't want to do this project. <laughs> I don't want to make these. But yeah, they're okay. Makeability, that's also okay. Um, if I wasn't able to use hot glue, I probably would say not very good because there was a lot of gluing. And a lot of times it said, you know, apply white glue, which is basically Elmer's. And it was like, just hold until glue sets. And I was like, so how long would you be standing here holding all of these things if you didn't have hot glue? I mean, you'd have to use clothespins and rubber bands and stuff to be able to get anything else done in your day. Um, there was a couple places where it had, like I was supposed to take a push pin and cut off the end and stick that into the end of this horn so I could like stick it in her mouth. And another thing here where I was supposed to take a push pin and cut that pin end off and stick that in her hand to hold the liar in, I just used hot glue. So uh, I'm going to change makeability to not very good because that part of like snipping that push pin off that metal, that seems actually kind of dangerous because when you snip those things off, a lot of times they fly. They're little projectiles. Hi. Kitty's on my lap. So, eh. And the eyelashes was using that little bit of yarn and you were supposed to have it curve, but it didn't tell you to curve it. <laughs> it didn't tell you to curve it when you, you were just supposed to like roll it in glue and let it dry. And then you were supposed to somehow bend it to stick it to the face. I was like, I don't know. So my little eye lines are pretty straight. They were supposed to be curved. Um, I was so tempted just to take a Sharpie and go, <laughs> but so yeah it was a little bit of a pain oh and the wings in the back you're supposed to cut a hole and stick them in the slit and then bend them that was not that didn't work so hot either okay so my makeability the more I think about it we're just gonna do not very good on makeability materials okay the gold trim I think helped a lot and the little green up here helped I wish that instead of styrofoam for especially the hands that they had used like a molded plastic because um I was supposed to cut that little extra off the styrofoam. Well, there were spots where it didn't cut. It tore, and when you tear styrofoam, you end up with divots. And then I was supposed to polish the styrofoam with a piece of, like, nylon stocking to make it smoother. Well, I don't have any nylons to chop up. So I used a piece of fabric for my bin, and I don't know. I've never heard of polishing styrofoam, so materials yeah they could have been better so let's just do an okay i also thought it was kind of cheesy that you used the red 
for the gold wings, but you were just supposed to use the back side and paint it gold? Why didn't, couldn't they have put something in there that was another material, you know, gold foil or something? So Overall, I'm going to give this project a, just an okay. It wasn't great. It wasn't horrible, but personal bias a little bit. This just isn't my thing, so. This is circa 1975. I would have been about two years old, so I have to admit I have a um, relative on my husband's side that every year at Christmas she has a shelf up and there's a whole like village of these kind of people doing like carol. I think they're all caroling. <laughs> there's like a whole huge set of them, so I was like, wow, these look familiar. All right. Thanks for watching. You have a great day. See you later.